For this week's midweek update, we've decided to do something different. We are bringing it to you in video form. So I'm going to read the article that you would normally get in written form, and it's titled Spiritual Twins. Here we go. In my sermon this past Sunday, I shared a quote from New Testament scholar F.F. F. Bruce. He died in 1979, and during his lifetime, he was considered one of the most influential scholars uh, of his day. And in his commentary on the book of Galatians, he says this very interesting statement on the part about the fruit of the Spirit. He says, peace and joy are spiritual twins. Peace and joy are spiritual twins. Now, I don't have any twins in my family. I bet a lot of you uh, do have twins in your family. And of course, we all know people who are twins, either identical twins or fraternal twins. But as I was reflecting on Bruce's insight that peace after joy is not a coincidence, that these two things, love being the ultimate fruit of the Spirit that comes first, but then peace and joy, Bruce says that they are like spiritual twins. And my mind went back to a movie I saw many times in my childhood called The Parent Trap. The first Parent Trap came out in 1961. It starred Haley Mills. And then they made a remake of it in 1998, starring Lindsay Lohan, and that remake my daughters love. So I've seen both of these movies a bunch of times. And most of you already know what the plot of The Parent Trap is about. It's about two identical twins who are separated at birth when their parents divorce, and then they meet at summer camp, and their mission is to bring their parents back together so that they can all be together again as a family. Now, of course, what's interesting about the movies is that only a single actor is used in both of those movies, not actual twins. And this works, of course, because identical twins look the same, or at least to the untrained eye, to a person who is not really close to them, they look close to the same or the same. But identical twins are not truly identical, of course, they have different personalities, they have different interests, even while they're typically very close to one another. I can remember my first job out of college. I was a youth director in my early 20s in Evans, Georgia. And in our student ministry, we had two high school boys who were identical twins. The better I got to know them, the easier it was to tell them apart. But they were also extremely similar in many ways, and they were the best of friends. When we think about peace and joy, we do well to think about these two spiritual virtues as being identical or at least fraternal twins. They are not the same things. Joy is not the same thing as peace, and peace is not the same thing as joy. In the same manner, no two twins are truly identical. Each is an individual made uniquely in God's image. That being said, where you can find one twin, you can often find the other. So to connect that to peace and joy, if we are missing joy in our lives, perhaps it is because we have neglected her spiritual twin, peace, and vice versa. Of these two spiritual virtues, I do think peace comes first, but like two sides of the same coin, the other side of the coin is never far behind. Paul connects peace and joy three times in his writings, including Romans 14, 17, where he says, for the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. In the parent trap, the two twin sisters, Haley and Annie, are determined to get their parents back together so that they can be together again as a family and so that those two sisters can be re reunited again. In a similar way, peace and joy belong together. If you are lacking one, maybe it's time to go looking for the other. And that is your encouragement for this week. God bless, and I'll see you at 930 on Sunday.